Hello everyone, welcome to Chessvisor, your wise choice to improve your chess. In today's video, I am going to show you a game played between Arjun Ergesi and Nitish Balurkar. And this game was played in Dubai Open and it was round number 2. So before we begin this video, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. So here Arjun was handling the white pieces, so he opens the game with 1 e4. And after 1 e4, he plays the move e6, the French defense. We have pawn to d4. And uh, Nitish hits in the center with a d5 and we have knight c3. And this is the uh, most commonly played line uh, so far in the French defense. And we have multiple choices from uh, Black's perspective here. We have bishop b4, we have knight f6 and even uh, d takes e4 is an option. But here uh, Nitish goes for the whenever variation of the French. So after bishop b4 we have pawn to e5. This is the most commonly played move again. So we have c5 hitting the center again. Especially the d4 is the base point for the uh, white pawn structure. So he goes for c5. That's the ideal choice in the French defense here. So a3. We have bishop takes c3. We have b takes c3. And then he plays the move knight e7. And in this position we have uh, multiple choices for white. And especially queen g4 is one of the line. And, and that is called a poison pawn line. So we could play queen g4 here in this position. And in this position black has two options. Either he can play queen g7 or simply castle. Uh, I'm going to show you this variation that is when uh, black plays the queen c7 that is where we can simply grab the pawn and after rook g8 we can grab the another pawn also. The point of playing this variation is very simple where black wants to have the open lines to attack white and most likely the white king is to, uh, to be in the center for longer duration. So that is the point of playing this variation from black's perspective. So we have c takes d4 knight e2 and then knight bc6 this is the uh, commonly played line. And going back in this position, uh, uh, Arjun did not go for that line. Rather, he plays this bow h4. So he wants to play aggressively. So he wants to, you know, lift the rook to h3 and then to use the rook to, uh, you know, uh, defend the c3 with the rook. It's an excellent idea, by the way. So here he plays the move queen c7. And after rook h3, uh, queen c7 is not um, is not a normal move because it simply x-rays the c3 pawn. So we have to be very very careful here. So that's why he simply lifts the, lifts the rook here. Rook h3. Bishop d7 we have pawn to a4. And after knight bc6 we have bishop a3 attacking the pawn. So c takes d4, c takes d4. And now immediately uh, in French defense there are a, a few things we should consider whenever you are playing with the French defense pawn structure. Especially when your opponent has you know, advanced, you, uh, advanced the pawn like this. Especially to the e5 square. So here uh, either you have to attack the base point or you have to attack the tip of the pawn structure and that's what the international mouse in this is doing here with the f6 and here uh, uh, Arjun uh, simply uh, you know uh, puts the pawn on f4 to uh, solidify the center and we have castles by Nitish c3 f takes e5 and now f takes e5 and we have rook to f4. And if you look at this position carefully and if you feed this or if you look at this same position from the computer, it would say it's a, a simply equal position. It would say it's zero zeros and all. But I would say uh, in the in the practical point of view, black has a, a better option or, you know, uh, better chances because uh, he has the open F line. The king is in the center. The only thing is he needs to figure out uh, these three pieces. And if we can manage to bring them into the center of the board, then uh, white would be in trouble. But, you know, he's playing Arjun, right? So <laughs> he knows the stuff. So so let's see the game here. So he goes knight f3, rook a f8, doubling the rooks on the f8 is very logical. We have king f2, uh, self-pinning mode. We have bishop e8, uh, simply rerouting the bishop to exploit the pin. So, uh, or, you know, another pin they can create with the move uh, bishop h5, right? So... And sensing this idea, he immediately plays the move pawn h5 and we have knight takes e5, the tactical idea. So what's the point? Uh, we cannot take back with the uh, knight obviously, so we have to take with the pawn. And after queen b6 check, we have king e1 and in this position, there is only one move for black to stay in the game. And if you want to, uh, you know, uh, find that, uh, you can pause the video and try to find that move. And I hope you found this move, that is... Queen e3 check. Always look for the checks, right? Checks, captures and threats. So queen e3 check is a very good move for black and uh, you can easily stay on the game with this line. And white would uh, follow up with the bishop e2. Queen e2 would be a blunder because queen, c queen takes c3 check uh, and uh, the rook will fall. So this is the uh, important variation for black. Uh, he, should, he should have continued but uh, he played the other move that is bishop takes a4. It's a very tempting move to play. 
but here uh, arjun simply tucks the queen to d2 and attacks the rook uh, it's being defended but still okay so rook e4 check by nitish bishop e2 blocking the check and we have rook f f4 and if you look at this position carefully uh, black pieces are simply storming in but uh, uh, but the thing is uh, white is upper piece here completely and if he can manage the king uh, out of the danger then um, it would be a problem for black so let's see so here uh, he simply grabs the piece again so bishop takes e7 and uh, black is simply giving up a, a, a knight and two rooks for a queen actually so bishop takes uh, e7 and then rook takes e2 check queen takes e2 and then and then he pins the queen to the king so knight to d4 and we have uh, rook takes e2 check knight takes e2 so i have marked this pawns uh, especially uh, when you are having this kind of imbalance you should know to assess the position or evaluate the position uh, if you look at the imbalance uh, in in piece wise we have a two rook versus a queen and uh, we don't have a safer king that is another important thing as a, as a white player we should consider and uh, if you look at other pieces we have uh, uh, bishop versus bishop and we have another piece that is extra for us and if you look at the pawn structure that is very very important the king safety pawn structure and the minor piece imbalance and the major piece imbalance the material imbalance are very very important to evaluate the position and if you look at the pawn structure here uh, black has a far better pawn structure and uh, arjun's pawns are very uh, you know they are very weak and they are scattered and it will be very very uh, easy to you know attack them but still uh, white white has some uh, material advantage let's see how the game progresses from here onwards so here he plays the move bishop to c2 and we have the move uh, h6 here and here uh, uh, he simply opens the uh, structure uh, especially the line against the king that is not actually recommended because uh, you don't want to open the uh, line against your king because uh, it would help your opponent right it's very simple logic but instead of that he could have played uh, you know simply bishop to e4 uh, in case uh, if you capture here h takes g7 then we can capture the pawn now so that that is a kind of better variation for uh, black but in the game he plays immediately g takes h6 and uh, arjun plays rook f3 going into the back rank and here also he should have blacked the idea with uh, uh, bishop to f5 uh, but still the knight can attack the bishop uh, uh, later but okay but in the game he plays uh, bishop e4 uh, allowing rook f8 check and now the rook is on the eighth rank and uh, whenever you have one of your rooks on the uh, you know on the seventh rank or the eighth rank and you should think about getting your another rook into the game like that right so let's see how uh, arjun gets the another rook so king g7 we have knight d4 improving the knights again so bishop f5 we have bishop to b4 in this position uh, we could uh, we could not play this move king to d2 or any any king move to the second rank because queen check is there and we should watch out for that so if you play move like a king f1 uh, again uh, queen b2 uh, would come and after knight takes f5 check and e takes f5 uh, rook e1 queen takes c3 and again uh, this is a um, uh, good position for white but still black has some counter attacking chances so considering this uh, uh, arjun did not even allow this idea by playing uh, bishop to b4 and here for some reason he plays the move king g6 and after king to d2 defending c3 he plays e5 giving up a pawn and rook takes a5 and that helps the rook to go up so here uh, he plays the move queen c7 and we have knight takes f5 but after e takes f5 we have rook takes d5 and uh, we we now have the stronger passer on the e file now so that is already in the fifth rank so we have queen c4 by nitish and a rook to d6 by arjun king g5 e6 pushing the passer queen a2 check and we have king e3 and queen a7 check rook d4 and after queen a1 we have bishop e7 check and in this position um, nitish actually resigns the game because it is simply made in three moves starting with the bishop e7 check and that's why he resigned the game and uh, here you can uh, pause the video and you can solve it very very simple mating pattern so in case uh, if you are wondering about what black can do black has uh, only two options with this king one is g king g6 another is king h5 uh, we will check uh, both the option uh, king h5 then we have this check followed by king g6 rook g g8 is a checkmate and if we go the other way uh, say for example king g6 then we have uh, rook g8 check and then followed by rook h4 is a checkmate so considering this only uh, after bishop e7 check uh, rithis has resigned the game 
so thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you are watching this channel for the first time please consider subscribing to the channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with others as usual this is chess visor your wise choice to improve your chess